I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is neither the living God who will punish evildoers. I say, do not doubt me, but believe me, for my word is true, and I do not lie. And when I declare that I will punish evildoers, I say that it is true, and their day does come. Therefore I say, if you are seeking to live in me, to abide in my righteousness, to obey my truth, I say, do not grow discouraged nor disheartened when you see the wicked supposedly remaining forever. For I say, they will not remain forever. The time comes that I bring them down, that I reveal their wickedness, and I say that I destroy them. And I say it is because they have sought to destroy, to devastate, to eradicate, and oh, how victorious they think they are. But I say that the truth of it is they will not prevail against the righteous, for it is me, the living God, who defends the ones who are mine. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not intend that my own people would grow doubtful of me, but they would continue believing in me. That is, ever trusting that it is me, the living God, who will punish the wicked, the evil doers, and yes, they will receive their pay. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to go in a way of magnified fools. I do not call you to give yourself over to that which I do not intend. But I say that I call you to walk uprightly in me each day, ever thankful to be guided in my way. And I say that I call you to be directed, corrected, and shown the light upon the path. For it is me, the living God, who gives to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who will ever instruct and guide you forth, for yes, indeed, you are meant to be mine. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will give my pathway to those who are truly repentant. I say that I will give my pathway to those who walk uprightly in me. And yes, it is me, the living God, who is able, alone of all the gods, I say that I am. I say that I am the omnipresent. I say that I am the glorious. I say that I am the one true God. And I say, when I've declared it, it is true that I will punish evildoers. Now I say, this day, if you will keep looking unto me, believing and trusting in me, then I say that you are brought forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength and the truth, the light and the hope of who I am. And yes, you are guided in that which I, the living God, will give thee time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who love to serve me the way wherein they are kept. Now I say this day you are not meant to be shaken by the works of the wicked, but I say you are meant to keep steady in me. And I say you are meant to keep on trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am the one who will bring you forth. For I say when you enter into and remain in repentance revolution, then I say that the wicked will not be able to destroy thee. For I say when a people are truly repentant, it is me, the living God, who will keep my hand of mercy upon them. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, that you continue to trust day by day. That is, do not be trusting in circumstance, but I say, put your trust in me. And I say, be ever thankful that I am the one who will direct you and bring you forth. And I say, be ever thankful that I am the one who gives you the light always. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will believe, let it be me that you will trust and follow after. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is my peace provided. And I say, when you will continue walking in me, then you are brought forth in my way. And I say, when you will continue believing in me, then you are uplifted, directed, and guided forth day by day. For I say that I, the living God, do not find pleasure when men and women will turn to Babylon's Jesus in order to believe the lies. But I say that I find pleasure when my people will abandon such ways of pretension and falsehood and walk clearly in me. That is, ever thankful to receive the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. And ever thankful to be directed in that which I give time and again. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when the wicked will spread themselves out in proud array, as though they remain forever, it is not true. For I say that they can go on and on and on in that which is vanity, stupidity, and darkness. And I say that they can go on in that which is pretension, hypocrisy, and lies. But I say through it all they gain nothing except the damnation of their souls. Now I say this day do not doubt that I, the living God, am just, and I say that I bring forth my justice in my timing. Therefore I say keep trusting me. 
that is, do not give your hearts to doubtful disputation, do not give your minds to vexation by questioning me. But I say instead be ever trusting and looking unto me, for I am the one who is able day by day. And I say be ever hoping in me, for I say that I bring you forth. Now I say this day when I the living God do give to the ones who serve me the way wherein they are to be guided, and they will obey my way, then I say they are found pleasing me. For I say that I, the living God, do find my joy in a people who walk uprightly, in a people who seek to please me in all that they do. But I say that the ones who have long since departed from me and gone after that which is of the world, which is nothing but lies and vanity, I say such ones will pay for the same. And I say for all of their pride and assurance that they remain forever, it is not true. For I say it is me, the living God, who will punish the evildoers. It is me, the living God, who will bring down the wicked and bring them to naught. Therefore I say, keep up the shield of faith, that their fiery darts do not get in upon thee. And I say, keep up the shield of faith, that they cannot vex thee nor torment thee, but because you are trusting in me. For I say, if it is me that you trust and believe, it is me, the living God, who brings you forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to feel sorry for yourselves, not in any way. But I say that I call you to realize that my true people have always undergone suffering for me. That is, suffering because they have remained standing in the truth, declaring the truth, and living the truth, and the demon forces are angered over the same. And I say that there are those who will purposely lie against my people in order to bring them down. But I say that I, the living God, will keep the ones who keep on trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am well able. And I say that I, the living God, will keep the ones who will allow themselves to be directed and guided by me. Therefore I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness revealed. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be mocked nor scoffed, and when men will take up the attempt to scoff you, I say that you are not scoffed. For I say it is not the opinion of men that matters, it is what I, the living God, do think of you. That is, are you serving me in sincerity, are you serving me in honesty and truth, are you desiring to be pleasing unto me? For I say if you are indeed seeking to please me and walk uprightly in me, then I say you will not be taken out of my way. But I say that you will be brought forth uplifted in that which I give you time and again. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that you would come forth, may glad that it is me that you may look to and believe. And I say that I do intend that you would be guided in that which I give, which is the truth and the light always. For I say it is a good thing to keep trusting, to keep believing, to keep on following me. And I say it is a good thing to know that through me so are you given the hope and the peace, the strength and the safety day by day. Now I say this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever putting their confidence in me. That is, by coming forth in that which I give, which is the truth and the light always. For I say the more that a people adhere to me, believe upon me and trust in me, the more they are guided by me. For I say that I, the living God, do not allow my people to end in a ditch if they keep their vision upon me. But I say that I do uplift and bring them forth, I do direct and instruct them in life, and yes, I give them my peace always. Now I say this day, let it be me that you believe, let it be me that you will trust, let it be me that will follow after time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope and the way that is peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who keeps the ones who are ever trusting, believing, and looking to me. Now I say, when the evil wax bold in all of their scoffing, their mockery, their hatred, I say, remember this. Remember that it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth provided, the way wherein you are meant to be kept. For I say, if it is me that you are trusting, believing, and looking unto, I say, you are led in a straight and narrow way. That is, in the way that I, the living God, do give the humility way of my life. I say this day, be thankful that you do not need to go following Babylon's Jesus, all to end in a ditch. That is, to go in the way of transgression, the way of violation, and somehow convince yourself you are right with me. 
But I say, instead, you can become in forth uplifted in that which I give day by day. And I say that you can become in forth uplifted in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and trusting in me. And I say, becoming forth in that which I give you, which is my truth and my light always. And I say, becoming forth rejoicing because it is me you are privileged to serve. That is, to serve in gladness each day, for I am the I am. Now I say, this day that I the living God never called my people to be loved, to be applauded, to be approved of the world, not at all. But I say that I've called my people to seek their refuge in me, the one true God who does care for my own. For I say, if it is me that you keep on trusting, believing, and hoping in, I say you are brought forth in newness of life. For I say, it is a joy unto me to impart my own virtue to those who believe upon me. I say, this day, be glad that you can continue trusting, believing, and looking to me day by day, for I am the one you are meant to serve. And I say, when you will be serving me with gladness and rejoicing, then I say, you are guided forth in my way. And yes, you are given the virtue of hope that I, the living God, will implant in thee, for I say there is no other way to hope. And I say when men will build their lives on false hope, as they do in Babylon's Jesus, I say they are building their lives on lies. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to live in lies, to partake of lies, and to flourish in lies. But I say that I call you to know, understand, and realize that lies are not meant to have any part of you. But I say you are meant to be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided each day, for it is me, the living God, who brings you forth. And I say when you believe upon me, repent unto me, and walk humbly in my way, then I say you are guided each day. For I say it is not, absolutely is not a difficult thing for me, the living God, to guide my own, to bring them forth, to cause them to rejoice each day in me. For I say of a surety it is me, the living God, who is able to keep you time and again as you keep your focus upon me. I say do not be looking to the rudiments of carnality that will only lead you astray. But I say be ever looking unto me, the one true God who will keep you day by day. Now I say this day, consider that it is me that you can believe in, consider that it is me that you can keep coming unto. That is, in trust, in faith, and confidence, because it is me, the living God, who guides you forth. That is, if you truly repent unto me and accept my way, then you are guided forth in the newness of life that I provide. And yes, you are given the hope that can only be found through me. I say this day, be glad that you do not need to be as the foolish, the vile, the wicked, who want their way. For I say, for all of their so-called boasting and bragging and their strutting of their pride, I say they are proven to be the ultimate fools. For I say, when their time is finished and they have not repented, they have not changed, they have not seek, sought to please me, I say, of course, they determine their destiny in hell. And yes, they are damned forever because they refuse my way. Be thankful to live in and choose each day my way.